Howdy folks, Bad Mark here with Mac Tech once again, bringing you another update from Keyboard World. Now today we're just doing a quick unboxing of another EUC board. Now I say another because oh, I've actually been modifying quite a few EUC boards if you've been watching my channel. One of the first ones that I modified was this lovely Z11 which is a 60% with a metal deck and an ABS bottom. I added silicone pennies before I started using weights and also replaced the switches with some Aqua green matches and actually ended up with what I consider a very nice sounding and feeling 60% uh, board. This board I purchased on sale for $8.99. Then there's the K620. This is a... A nice TKL board that they sell that I believe this one actually I bought on sale. I'm gonna see was say it was nineteen dollars and normally sold for like twenty eight ninety nine, twenty nine ninety nine. Um, it did have a uh, an attached USB cable which I ported and I siliconed the interior. I'm actually working on a 3D print so that the because right now the uh, the USB C daughter board is just kind of glued in there. So I'm working on a 3D print so that I can actually slide it into there and attach the daughter board into it and get rid of the gap because right now it's it, it's just ugly. I'm not even going to show you. But this one. This one ended up sounding real good as well. Um, these boards, they do not sound good out of the box. This is Don't expect this board to sound good out of the box. But the other day on Budget Keeps, this is a subreddit on Reddit. And in case you guys haven't been there, if you're getting into um, the hobby, and it doesn't, I mean, I don't want you guys to get thrown back by the name Budget. We say Budget because we mean of our own budget, what works for us. We're looking for things that are well-priced but are also of good quality. We just don't want to throw away money on something that's, you know, not good or it's not worth it for that price. So um, I don't want people to feel intimidated and just think that all we do is, you know, review cheap boards because we don't like anything that's cheap. We like things that are budget within our budget. And we have an attitude that to help people, you know. So whereas there's uh, other subreddits where you might go and ask a question and get derided, on RMK, we do our best to help newcomers into the hobby if they have questions because there is a lot of information. I mean, I'm still learning every single day, and I've been doing this for a while. So, and I will never learn everything there is about keyboards, just like you know, computer science. I'll never learn everything there is about computer science, even though I program every day. So, anyway, this is the Z88 or their 75% compact uh, edition. Now, I've seen it on here for on Amazon for a while. But I never bought it. It was always listed at like 34 between 34 and 40 dollars and I was like, mm, just not within my price range for any use because I know that I'm going to have to put some effort into it. But this one came across Budget Cubes the other day and they're like, "Hey guys, the Z88 is $10 right now." I was like, "You are kidding me, right?" Well, no. I went put it in my cart, went to the checkout page and sure enough, $10.59 is what I got this board for. So let's reveal what is another EU Sue board. So this one is it's quite interesting because I haven't really seen this layout. Usually you see the function row kind of scrunched up with a couple more keys here. But they decided to go and stay with their normal function row and just add this extra row here. So this is almost like an exploded 65% with a function row. but Or not exploded, but just a 65% with a uh, function row, for the most part. Um, it's kind of their own uh, style now. Let me see. I think, yeah, those are regular size keys. I'm going to say that most keycap sets will probably work with this, except for obviously the height, depending on where they're at. But I don't see any off-size keys with it. But, so this is the EUSU Z88. Uh, this one, they do come, it comes in a gold and a silver. Um, plate metal. Now, I don't know if I want to call that steel or aluminum. I'm, I'm not a metallurgist, so I don't know. But off the bat, obviously, 
that sounds like a stock board. This one's running the Browns. As we say, we can get an extra set of them with a keycap puller, as well as a... Um... Now, it's ugly, but this is one tough cable. I actually have another one from any Yusu that I ran over, and I thought it was dead, and you know, it was not damaged. And uh, there's a simple instruction card. So... Now, like I said, I'm just doing a quick unboxing because I found this board. I couldn't believe that I found it for uh, so cheap. I am going to be opening up this board and modifying it and getting rid of that hollowness that you can hear inside of there and seeing what what we can get out of this. And I'm going to obviously do my best to work with that silver when I pick some keycaps and let's see if we can make this truly, truly pop. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking that if we actually paint the case, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I'll come up with plenty of ideas of things to do with this board. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of this board and uh, you know have you guys look forward to modifying this board. But if any of you guys did take advantage or did see that sale um, and pop, picked up this board for $10, bucks, uh, make sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys have any ideas as to modifying it. I just have general ideas right now, but... If I do paint it, I'm going to try to, like I said, use that silver uh, to make it, you know, pop, stand out, hopefully work well with uh, whatever keycaps I end up picking for it. But I think this should be a fun little project. So, but for the moment, that is all. I do have more videos coming up, and I am working on my production value. I am using a new microphone. I've got a new intro, although I don't know if I'm in love with it yet. I haven't really received much feedback. Any feedback on these things would be great. Um, I want to stick to keyboards. I'm not, I don't want to get overly produced or, you know, obviously I don't want to make ugly videos, but I'm not here to make commercials. I'm here to share a hobby um, and find the best way to do things and even the m most uh, economical way to do things so that's my intent anyway happy easter everyone or whatever else you may celebrate keep calm keyboard on